The next job to carry out on Tim's T25 is to sort out the noisy speedo. So to fix that problem, we're going to replace the cable. The first thing we need to do is gain access to the back of the speedo here. So we need to remove this top part of the binnacle cover. Now to do that, it's on two clips at the back and then pulls forward. If you put a little bit of pressure on the top pushing backwards, you can actually lift it out the clips quite easily. And then slide it forward and off it comes. Then we're going to disconnect our cable that goes to our brake reservoir, brake fluid reservoir. So we can undo that, carefully remove the plastic. And then all we need to do is to remove the cable from the back of the speedo. If you're not confident in getting your hand down there and pulling the speedo cable off, you can undo the screws and gently move the whole binnacle forward. You can just literally squeeze one of the lugs and it lifts up the lock and off you slide it off. So the speedo cable actually comes down through to the front wheel here on the near side. And the cable actually comes through the centre of the wheel hub and out to the grease cover on the outside. The grease cover's got a square drive that the cable actually fits into and then an E-clip secures the cable in place. So all we need to do is remove that E-clip and we can withdraw the cable all the way from the hub. So with the aid of a small screwdriver, we can just lift that E-clip off and out. There we go. Careful not to lose him. And then our cable will then just push through the cap. I can withdraw the cable from the other side. So with a firm pull on the cable, I should be able to pull it through that hub. Sometimes they're a bit sticky. There we go. That's out. So now our cable's withdrawn from our hub. The next thing we need to do is drop the spare wheel down. That will give us access to where the cable goes through into the cab. Oh. Excellent. So now we should be able to withdraw the cable up through into the cab. Keep going, that goes off down. As you can see, just about where it goes through under there. So we'll pull that through and then we can feed the new one back down through this way also. So before we slide our new cable into position, we're going to remove the grill first. That'll give us some access to the back of the dash and make it a lot easier to get our cable down through. So these are on little half turn clips. So I've got the new cable and I've put a little bit of electrical tape around the end just to sort of prevent any hang ups on the way down. The grommet's into position and move that further up, that's ready to go. So all I need to do now is just feed it through our bulkhead and I can go the other side where we've removed the grill and then manipulate the cable into position and run it down to where we need to. Now I've actually got the speedo cable a little bit jammed up here behind the headlamp so the next thing I'm going to do is just pop the headlamp forward and I should be able to retrieve the cable. There we go. Oh, lovely. So now I can grab hold of the cable and put it through. So with the headlight pulled forward, we can make sure that our weatherproof grommet is seated correctly. Here's the end of the cable. I can just start pulling it through. Lovely. So before we go any further, we just need to remove that piece of uh, electrical tape that we put on the end to help us get down to where we are now. I don't want to be put, putting that through the hub, so let's remove that. So all I need to do now is feed that through the centre of the hub. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of grease on the cable, and this will help us slide it through our hub centre. There we go, slid through the hub. So as you can see, the cable's just about to come through our grease cap, so I'm just going to push the cable from behind and then aid it through, guide it through with our little screwdriver. Yep, there we go, it pops through. And now I can get our E-clip on. That'll stop him falling back through. So carefully get our E-clip started and then push him on with a pair of long nose pliers. There, it's clipped on lovely. Brilliant. I'm just gonna check our cable routing just past our spare wheel carrier and then we can get the spare wheel back in and get that up. Just make sure that it's in the right position and not getting caught anywhere. I've just secured with a cable tie just to keep it in the right position. So our last piece of the puzzle is to pop the dashboard back together. We've already clipped on our speedo cable onto the back of the speedo head. So now we can to remove our brake level sensor and we can pop them back in once we've got our plastic protector in back in. And then when we pop our binnacle cover back on, the front goes in first and locates to some little clips there and then there's just two clips at the back. So now we just push the two back and that's it. So for more hints and tips and how-to videos, follow us on YouTube 
Facebook, Instagram, and check us out at justcampus.com. Thanks for watching.